hello and welcome to this video in this video we are going to do a comparison we have two gaming computers one of them is going to be HP Omen 45 liter and then second uh, one is a custom built gaming PC so what we are doing in this video I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between a pre-built PC and a custom built PC for the same price and then we will see which one is better feature wise and hardware wise by the end of the video you will be able to decide which uh, computer you should go with whether you should buy a pre-built PC or you need to have somebody build that computer for you if you're going to go with the custom built PC uh, so we're going to discuss the labor cost for that as well if you will have somebody build the computer for you uh, so we will take that factor into the account but uh, let's start the video I'm going to show you the computers first uh, here is the HP computer we are going to actually compare with the custom build PC so looking at this computer it has a 45 liter case which is like a large size case for a PC and then you will have i7 12th gen processor, 1 terabyte SSD, 32 GB RAM, and RDX 3080 as a graphics card. It is sold out at the moment, but still the price is there. So we just need the reference of the price to actually compare both of them. Uh, going into the detailed specs of it, uh, it has i7 12th gen processor, which can be clocked up to, I think, 3.60 GHz, 1 terabyte M.2 and then 3080 graphics card with 10 GB of video memory and then Wi-Fi 6 well that's that's pretty much it is now we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, of this computer with a custom built PC uh, for the same price or even less so let's go to that part of the video and comparison is going to be from over here so these are the parts I have added into the card from memory Express just to show you how much is it gonna actually cost you to just get the parts <clears throat> now let's take a look at the technical specs here so I have already gone through the specs here so I'm just gonna briefly compare them now uh, this one comes with the i7 12th generation processor and over here is i7 13th gen processor with 16 cores and 24 threads a lot better than this guy uh, storage wise we have two terabyte of solid state drive so over here HP is only giving you one M.2 here we have two terabyte of SSD plus uh, we have two terabyte of M.2 Samsung 980 Pro SSD which is pretty fast and very nice in terms of performance so we are uh, over here we have a total storage of four terabyte basically comparing it to this is like just one terabyte uh, furthermore looking at the graphics card we have RDX 3070 8 gigabytes and over here you have 3080 10 gigabytes of dedicated memory now yes it is a step down uh, in terms of graphics card but at the same time it's not a huge difference I would say uh, for the price you will see you can get a 3080 as well for this price whatever the price they have mentioned over here with all the features I'm mentioning here but at the moment they don't have it in stock so moving on from the graphics card we have a Corsair liquid cooler to cool down our CPU and this is a triple fan radiator liquid cooler and this will do an amazing zo a job to just keep our processor at a low temperature it will definitely not let it run hot um, so this is it and then power supply is the last thing we're gonna talk about this one is 850 gold modular power supply from Corsair which is enough in case you upgrade your graphics card in future all right let's talk about the price here now this one is $2,700 actually $2,800 take it around 28 yeah 
$2,800 and this one is $3,300. So as you can see, there is a $500 of a difference looking at this and this. Now, that $500, 100% for $1,000, you will be able to get a 3080 around thousand dollars right now from any website so even if i increase it if i increase the price for up to 200 there's still i mean it, it's just gonna go up to three thousand dollars with the 3080 graphic card on this and then again 3070 is a good car to go with in case you need to upgrade for sure you can do it now taking the total cost of 2800 over here with the four terabyte of storage better power supply better processor at the same time i think i did not add the ram over here all right my apologies on that let me add the ram over here too so we have ddr4 3200 so before you add the ram make sure you check your motherboard uh, what RAM does it support? So if it is DDR4 and do check the speed as well because DDR4 as you can see here is 3200 megahertz which is going to work with our motherboard. If you buy 3600 it may not work. You may, you're going to have to change your motherboard as well. So do read that as well. Uh, I'm going to go with 3200 megahertz RAM which is this for 132 but I actually don't need an RGB. I will probably go with the non RGB um, RAM for sure. So I'm gonna get two, st four sticks of this, which will actually take it up to uh, 64 gigabits of RAM, which will be more than enough even for now and for future games. All right. So this is it. Sorry, none. I don't need that so here we are so three thousand dollars basically and then looking at the specs of this computer versus this this is a lot better in terms of storage performance right and at the same time for future upgrades this is good um now let's talk about uh the money uh for building the pc i think normal uh normally what i've seen the builders the pc builders usually charge around 100 bucks Take it maximum of to $200 they will charge. Now, making a computer or building a computer like this will ensure that the performance and the reliability is there. You have somebody built it for you or have Memory Express built it for you. Uh, but building a computer is way better than buying a cust this pre-built PC from HP. As you can see later on, you will definitely need to upgrade your storage. I can bet on that. You will have to change the storage if you're going to play uh, those uh, AAA title games. They are 200 gigs, 300 gigs each game. So yes, you're gonna need a lot of storage. That is something you need to keep in mind. At the same time, I have added over there 64 GB of RAM, which will be more than enough for future even. And then i7 13th gen processor, right? With the tripled fan liquid cooler for your processor, this PC will be um, a state of the art kind of performance you're gonna get out of this. So this is what I wanted to actually show you side by side. And then I hope you might have gotten the idea. You might have uh, actually seen. And actually, um, that's what my purpose was of making this video to actually show you that what you can actually build for the price and what you can actually buy for the same price. So yeah, the decision is yours entirely. But uh, uh, looking at the price over here, this is a computer which is worth building for the price. Right? Even if you pay $200 to the builder, you're still ending up around $3,200, right? So for the same price, this computer is way better in terms of specs, hardware, and performance. So that's all from my side uh, about this video. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. And let me know what do you think, which one would you like to go with, a pre-built PC or a custom build? Uh, if you have any questions, uh, do mention that on the comment section. And then, yeah, I'll be back with another video 
uh, with another pre-built PC and then we will do the comparison um, with the custom build again but that's all for me and thank you so much for watching the video uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe the channel and I will see you guys in the next video thank you